Hey everybody, this is kind of a special video. I wanted to show you something really cool that's in my collection. This is the Screen U Sports Almanac cover from Back to the Future 2. Yes, the real thing. And it's been autographed by the entire cast. Michael J. Fox, Christopher Lloyd, Tom Wilson, James Tolkien, and the writer Bob Gale. Now, kind of a long story how I got this thing. It was originally owned by a collector named Charles Bocock. He got it from ScreenNews.com with a certificate of authenticity. Without going into too much detail, Charles, uh, Charles he, he landed himself into some trouble. He had to go away for a little while. And I bought a large amount of his collection from his wife. And uh, when I got this as part of the package of stuff that I got, I didn't get the certificate. I contacted Screen Used, and they say that it's their policy to never reissue the certificate of authenticity. So what I did was I... Uh, uh, now, it hadn't been autographed yet. Now, uh, over the last few years that I've owned this, I've taken it to some different events and shows and had everybody sign it. And it's all been authenticated by Beckett Authentication. Comes with a certificate of authenticity with them and has a, uh, a number that you can look up on their website and it shows the item with all the authorized signatures so that you know that they're legit. But I have photos and videos of all of that happening. Anyway, now as far as the authenticity of the actual item, well, this was one of the covers that was either wrapped around the actual Sports Almanac book or the Ooh La La magazine. That was confirmed by Dangerous Bob Whidden, who was the prop master on Back to the Future. And he appeared with me on the television show Pawn Stars on History Channel in which we took the almanac on there. Now, of course, you know, I've been on Pawn Stars many times, and you know they really don't offer very much money for their items. You've seen me on there with the Proton Pack. You've seen me on there with the DeLorean Time Machine. It's part of their gimmick. They they offer very little money for the item, and that's what they do. So uh, I, did, I didn't want to sell it to them yet. And at that point, I hadn't got it signed by Michael J. Fox yet. So we recently met Michael J. Fox. It cost 500 bucks to meet Michael, get a picture and an autograph, and this was the item that I got him to sign. So I've decided to put this thing up for auction for a couple of reasons, because I need to kind of thin out my collection. I just have too much stuff. And I'm going to be adding this to, uh, it's going to, on eBay, you can select a charity that you can have your profits go to automatically. So I have selected, of course, Michael J. Fox's Foundation for Parkinson's Research. So a portion of the money uh, of the profits that go to this thing are going towards Team Fox. Wanted to give back a little bit and quite a significant amount if I can. And you're gonna help us do that by owning this amazing piece of, of movie history. This is an authenticated, real, gray sports almanac from the movie Back to the Future. Autographed by Michael J. Fox, Christopher Lloyd, Tom Wilson, James Tolkien, and Bob Gale, who wrote the movie. I hope it raises a lot of money for Team Fox, and thank you for uh, checking it out. Hey, what's up? Hi, uh, how you doing, man? I brought something really cool for you guys. Check this out. I have here the original Gray Sports Almanac from Back to the Future 2, the screen-used cover okay it does cover for the infamous sports book that biff stole yes it's been signed by bob gale who wrote the film christopher lloyd who played doc brown and this is really special tom wilson signed it he played biff i have with me today the screen used sports almanac cover from the movie back to the future 2. i'm doing some house renovations i need a little extra cash this isn't my first time to the pawn shop i came in with my delorean but since Rick didn't buy my time machine, I used it to go into the future. I already know he's going to pay me what I want for this thing. This is really cool. It's got to be one of my top ten favorite movies. I've been a fan ever yeah. since I saw the first one. It's the most iconic movie of the 80s. I don't really know of another movie that they made both sequels to it at the same time. Well, originally that was supposed to be one long movie. Yeah. And they wanted them to cut it down. So Bob Gale and Robert Zemeckis managed to sell it to the studio and say, look, we can chop it into two movies, and that's how they did it. Okay. In the scenes in Back to the Future 2, Marty McFly is in the future in the year 2015. He goes into the antique store and buys this book, Gray Sports Almanac, so he can place some bets. Doc tells him it's a bad idea. They throw it in the trash. Old Biff, who lives in the future, pulls it out of the trash. 
steals the time machine, goes back to 1955, gives it to his younger self with instructions, then comes back to the future and leaves the car for them to find. <laughs> it's very confusing, of course. Marty McFly could not meet Marty McFly or just everything would go completely. Yeah, the planet would explode. And, but the most important thing is this is the cover that was seen wrapped around the book. Back to the Future is one of the most loved trilogies of all time. It so affected pop culture. And to be able to get something from the movie would just be absolutely amazing. I know I can make some money on it if everything checks out. And if it's not real, this guy can make like a tree and get out of here. <laughs> Let me make some phone calls and have someone look at the signatures and we'll get an idea on the price, all right? Okay, give me a few minutes. I have no problem with an expert taking a look at my sports almanac. I know it's legit, I know where I got it, and it's the real thing. I have a customer in the shop with what he says is a screen-used almanac signed by the actors and the writers from Back to the Future 2. One of the first things I have to do is make sure the signatures are legit, so Steve is coming in to help me out with the autographs. Here we go, look at this. Oh, cool. Huge, huge, huge fan. Your concerns. Well, first off, are those autographs real? And I do want to compare them a little bit, just look at some of the stuff that I have on file. And Christopher Lloyd is kind of the, the main one on here. And his autograph is this beautiful, flowing signature. You could see every letter of his name. The next one's Bob Gale, and this is the one that gets kind of sloppy. Guys that sign left, they have trouble signing autographs yeah. sometimes. But this version is literally the same as this. It likes to curl this B in, and he's doing it here. Tom Wilson on the back here. His T almost looks like a D. Absolutely perfect, so no problem with that one. And that's special because he's a comedian. His whole act is about how much he hates Back to the Future. Yeah, and if you went up to him with an item from Back to the Future, I'll sign that, sorry. That was his attitude forever. Uh, great signatures, live ink. This is a really nice piece. And I'm gonna have to call somebody to see if this was screen used, right? Okay. Thanks, dude. Good seeing you. Back to the Future came out so many years ago, and the autographs are still highly collectible. If they can get it verified as a screen-used prop, gets a great piece of movie memorabilia and something I think that, that we'd be able to sell over time. So do we got a call tall Rob, or...? I'm gonna FaceTime him right now. What's happening, pal? I want you to look at something for me. Very good, let's check it out. What do you think? I think what you have there is a very important part of Hollywood history. I happen to have a friend that's not too far from you. I'm sending over the actual prop master from the film that that particular prop was used in. Okay, cool. I'll let you know how all this works out. Yeah, please do, Rick. Can you just, like, figure it out? And I mean, like, I'm spending three hours on one single item here. Hey, are you Bob? Yes, Dangerous Bob Wooden, set prop master on Back to the Futures. I like anybody whose first name is Dangerous. Well, thank you. That was given to me by Steven Spielberg, knighted <laughs> on the set and started my career early. I'm Dangerous Bob Whidden, the prop master on Back to the Future series. And in Back to the Future 2, the whole movie revolved around the almanac and what it did for the future, the present, and the past. It's a very valuable and collectible piece. Okay. So um, you were in charge of making these, right? Yes. We made about 24 of them. We used just about every one of them because when you're in a scene, when you fold it and walk with it, if we cut, we'd have to go back and I'd have to hand either of the characters a new one. Okay. And so is it legit? Oh, may I touch it? I'm, sure. I'm going to need to look for some telltale things. These marks here are aged just like mine were after sitting in a warehouse. And this tape mark here is a definite plus. What was happening is the covers were flying open in the actor's hands. And being left-handed, you can see the way I put the tape marks on. Okay. So that looked really good. The colors are right on the money. Uh, I guarantee it's real. It's one of mine. Thanks, man. You're very welcome. Thank you. I appreciate you. you coming down. Well, thank you for the opportunity. Well, thanks. It was an honor meeting you. are welcome. Him. I hope it all works out. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. You, you know, know, I'm going to put it back in its frame, and there's a little part of me that's uh, almost glad you didn't buy it. Appreciate it, man. Thanks, man. Take care. Maybe it'll be worth something in the future.